Three D and T. Here we are with the A one. All right, we're opening the A one. So we have our gantry. And we have our base. All the magical pieces. And do some zip ties. Uh -huh. There's the major cable goes underneath here. Uh, we're gonna be an adult and actually read the guide today. There's a spool holder with, I guess that's the PTFE holder. We're going to install the build plate is the first thing it tells you to do. Well, first I'm going to get the film off. Oh, this is on nice and sticky. Boop. All right, let's put that nice, beautiful PEI bed sheet back on here. Let's slide it in. Oh man, these magnets are strong. Fits nice in. I'm just gonna flip the machine upside down. Why are we gonna do that with the build plate on? I'm gonna put something on here. I don't want to scratch the build plate. Hold on one second. That way I'm not scratching my build plate. So we're good to go. Turned it over and we've got the four screws. Looks like they are circled in red. One, two, three, and four. Do you see that? One, two, three, and four. I want to hold on to these screws. If I'm not mistaken, we need these for later. On the bottom. And we're going to slide it in as an angle, and then come down with it apparently. Yeah, sliding in at an angle, and then down. This slides right in. Ooh, slip right in. Next, we're going to unlock the tool head. So, cut the zip ties off the cardboard, wrap it around the tool head and the x-axis, and remove the seven zip ties. I've only done two, so that's... Push the heat bed fully to the front end when the screen where the screen is located. Done. Open the X-axis cover, which is this cover here. Oh. So that's the Y-axis cover. Pull out the Y-axis cover gently. Oh there, yeah, I did that gently. <laughs> Not. So we need to screw in, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All in the green spots. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's green, 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 green. They're green all over the place. It's kind of self-explanatory, so we're putting the greens in. I don't like to tighten up my screws all the way when I first do it. I like to get them close to tight, and then I go back and tighten them all the way up once everything's in place. So if they're all semi-tight, Finish it off, or torque it down, as we would say. How are you guys today? I never asked. I'm just sitting here putting together, but now the wife is gone. I got free space, free reign. She's upstairs talking to her mother, I think. So, she wanted to do the unboxing because she's the one who got this one. So now I go back and I tighten up every single screw. Work my way from left, from right to left, sorry. That way I'm putting tension on both sides equally. There we go. So we got the back side. So now we gotta get the front side, so we're gonna move the bed full back. And bam! Two more. One, two right there. What's funny is I'm sure the wife's gonna show up right as I finish this. Just so she can see me start printing, and then she's gonna have tons of questions about why is this this way? Or if she was right here learning right now, she wouldn't be asking these questions. We're gonna put the cover back on. And we're gonna slide it in gently. I'm not gonna be violent with it this time. I'm gonna go very gentle. Just like that. Gentle. Gentle. See how gentle I was with it? Smooth. Now, moving to the next step. We're going to place it on the gantry. Really? That's a weird way to put it, but okay. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So it says to lean it on the table. 
That just doesn't feel safe. I don't feel safe. Maybe if I pull the bed all the way up. That, now I feel comfortable. So now we're gonna go ahead and take our magical wire here. Let me make sure you can see this. Uh, I'm not coming, laying on the back. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and take our main connector, which is supposed to be the most difficult. I don't see how. All right, so I've got, oh, this is gonna be hard. This green is, I guess, supposed to go to the green. And the white one, I guess, goes to the white one. Hmm, and this yellow one here probably goes to this yellow one. Uh, I'm just assuming. I, mean, I could be wrong here. But let's, let's do that, shall we? So there's a USB plug here. Right there. That goes up in here. So that's what they mean by finicky, I guess, because it's got to go in just right to line up the USB. Oh, there it is. Wow, that was tough. Not really. Then we're going to plug in our motors. We got a green wire here. We got a white wire here. In case you're wondering, this white wire is the camera, the green wire is my X axis, and this collage of black, white, and gray is my Z motor. So why didn't I go underneath? I don't know where to, oh, I guess on the side over here. That's where it goes. Right through the side, and then this clips down to hold this in place. Yeah, it's just a little tight, a little tight in here. There it goes. And then it should just clip close in the gap. Ah, I got some kind of gap. It's gotta be right in the gap, it looks like. There's a little groove here, just has to make sure it's all the way in for that to close. Now it's closed. So we've got one screw here holding the whole thing together. Yeah, I think that's why it's supposed to be on the other side. We're good. We're gonna make it work so that way you guys can still see what the heck's going on here. There's still a two, okay. So we're connecting this in and bam. We're all the way in. That's nice and flush, flat. Base. Now I'm supposed to put it back down on its regular side like it's supposed to. And fold out the screen. It's right here. Oh, look at that. It's so cute. It's this little baby dinky screen thing. It just slides that way. It slides this way. The screen is in place. Everything looks good. We folded out the screen. And next we are going to slide in the purge wiper. We're going underneath here. Oh yeah, she's back in case you didn't know. There we go. Pop off! There she is! There's the naked head! No cover, no package, no protection. Fly open. And we're going to mount the filament thrower, spitter, dingy, the flicker, wing wing, thing, jingle. Is this? There it is. For the purge wiper! One screw for the purge wiper. There's the screw hole for the purge wiper. When I keep clear of this area, it says slide into the hole. Oh, look at that, it slid right in. You got the hole? I found the hole. Stop it. Then we're going in with the two. Oh, well, that's what it is. You gotta be nice and tight. It won't break, but okay. Now it's not loose anymore. All right, yay, the A1 is put together. Now it's time for the AMS system to be placed together. Let's start with that cheap little uh, base that I just saw. Listen to this. this is a super cheap base, but that's okay. So we're gonna route the AMS. Yep, all right, is there any specific direction? Cable on the upward end. Cable on the upward end. There we go. That was the easy answer. Thank you. And that's for the AMS. Okay. This feels very cheap, I'll be honest with you. It feels very plasticky. I mean, if it works, it works. That's not the case here. I'm just wondering. This thing probably weighs 
maybe four or five pounds, if that. We're going to then put the clips on green to green. And it looks like on the inside here, there's little grooves on the left and right here. So you can't put it in that way. It's got to be lined up with the actual holes on the inside here. And this green has a different pattern than this orange does. So this will never fit on this side. But on the other side, it does have to line up directly with the grooves in there and it goes right in. Same thing here, here's orange. It's got a hexagon shape on the orange compared to a rectangle on the green. And uh, there we go. And then on the orange in the back, there we go. All right, so we have, uh, here's the single spool holder, which I'll probably never use, but we'll see. Okay, so now that we have the AMS set up, we're gonna have to go ahead and run the wires. Who is this is the left side. Or, I wanna switch it. Does it matter? Does it really matter what side this thing is on? The recommended distance is 50 millimeters or less. <laughs> The bundle of PTFE tubes. This is gonna be interesting. Alright, let's pop these puppies out. This must be for the single, and these are for the four. Alright, put the AMS to the right side of the A1. Great. So I guess it does have a preference to sides. So the AMS on the correct side per the guy here. These are all different sizes? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be fun, okay. Put the long one, or no, the short ones, sorry. Put the short ones in one and two. There's two shorts, two longs. We're gonna put the long ones in three and four. Oh, they clip in nice and easy. Just insert. It doesn't even specify. It just says insert all four PTFE tubes into the tool head filament hub. So this is going to go right in to that extra gap that was right here. And I just put them anywhere. It just, it just says put all four PTF tubes into the tool head filament hub. It does not specify where each one goes. Not I. It just says put them all into the filament. It, okay. I'm not even going to make an attempt, I'm just going to rock with it then. The heck with it, it doesn't specify, I'm wasting too much time trying to figure out these little baby things. So I'm going to follow the directions, just as put all four into the filament tube. Follow the directions. Just follow the directions, put them all like they say. There, all four are in. It doesn't give me any directions, it just says put all four in. Yeah, you're kidding me. Okay. Exactly that's supposed to go in. So next step is insert the AMS's pin system to the back of the A1. There's the four pins. Oh yes, there's two of them back here. Far right side. The far right one. Okay. There's a gap here. That's very interesting. So on the machine here, you see there's three little ports there. In the back of the machine, there's two ports, and one is covered up, like in a car where it's a blank switch. The second one is missing. There's nothing there, so that must be an add-on for later. Wonder what that's gonna be. That's what I mean. One, two, and this one's blank. Hmm. What is this? Ah, it's a foot! No! One of the feet came off already. Which one? Which one are you? Ah, oh, way back there. I found you. Back here. All right, so that's the first thing it looks like we'll be printing us some new feet. Just need an empty one. There's an empty one. Steve, it's taking so long. Excuse me. Some of us have to assemble this while others watch us assemble this. I don't know who's who. I don't know. Me neither. All right. Damn foot fell off again. I figured if I buy it, you, you put it together. Sure. <laughs> that's normally how it works, yes. <laughs> You buy, I put together. There you go. All right, I put that stupid foot back on that's bothering me now. And technically there's eight zip ties because there's one right here. 
I already cut seven. That's eight. We're going to power on the puppy. Eight. I got lights on the AMS. I got a clink. I've got to unleash your creativity. Did you screw the truth? Oh, she made some 1980s noise. <laughs> Scream. Clear. Start it up. Weird. So, all right, so we're going to go ahead and fire this puppy up with the start button. Hit the English. We are in North America. We are connecting to the Wi-Fi. We're going to select the Wi-Fi. All right, we are connecting. Network is connected. Yeah. Okay. Network's connected. Network's connected. You ain't got any other screen for me to move to? Nothing? We're just going to sit there? Making some fiddlies. And it still says network connected. Network is connected. Oh, there we go. Bam. Okay, Bam. finally.